Thank you for purchasing a new 3D printer from Delaney Drafting and Design. I'm Russ, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to unbox and set up your new Creator Pro Flashforge 3D printer. All you need is to, with your utility blade, carefully cut open the packing tape. Open it up, and you'll see what you got first is your two filament guide tubes and your manual packet. I'm going to set these aside. You might want to take a look in your manual. There's a quick start guide, and it, it's going to walk you through what we're showing you here today. But here's where you have your parts list, how many different things you have included, and your steps, which we're going to go through right now. You have two build tapes, and this is a gauge for leveling the table when we get there. So I'm going to set this aside. And then we just pull out the styrofoam insert. Set that aside. I'm going to set this on the ground. It might be nice to have a helper at this stage, but you can do it by yourself. I'm just going to grab the two side handles of the 3D printer and pull it straight up and out. Set this on the table for a second. I'm going to get the box out of the way. Make sure it's secure. Get this out of the way. Okay, now what you want to do is get the tape from the bag off very carefully. Once you get it away from the bottom, you can set it on the feet. Just pull the bag off. Okay, so now inside the top here, there's some tape. And you'll see, here's a bag with your power cord. There's your USB cord. This is a bag with a piece for the fan blower and a couple, it says extruder mounting screws. We're going to need that very shortly here. There's a bag of tools. You have an SD card. And here are your mounts for the spools, the material on the back. And then very careful with this, this is your extruder head assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the power cord, USB, tools, all this aside for a second. To get, to get this uh, styrofoam insert out. And then very carefully set this, let's set this aside a second here. Set your extruder, lay it down very carefully where it's not going to move because we want to get the rest of this unboxed here. From the front of the unit, you're going to need to open the door so get the tape out of the way. I'd recommend leaving this film on until last just to preserve it. Now, what you're going to need to do is pull the cover out with the styrofoam. I'm moving the x-axis rods back to get a little space to pick it up and carefully move it out while the door needs to be slightly closed. Be very careful here. And then pull it out. You'll see you should have two spools of filament. Here's a PLA. And uh, here's an ABS. So be careful with your 
your cover hood here. filament. Okay, so then what we need to do, there's more styrofoam inserts here and they're, they're held in by the table. And there's also, when because we're going to need to move the table up to get these out, there's an insert back here that you need to pull out first. Okay, so uh, to, move, to move the table up, Carefully move, twist the rod here, the Z-axis rod in the back, to give you some space. I'm actually going to set this aside for a second. And then you see, I can twist it and move it up to get it out of the way. When you have this out of the way, there's two pieces, one bigger piece here and then a smaller piece here. Okay, so we'll just lift it up, bring it more towards the center here, and pull it straight out. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and move the table down just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take, move the x-axis rods a little forward here, and then bring the y carriage here into the middle. And I'm going to take my extruder assembly, and I'm going to note that there's a threaded hole here and here on either side of the extruders. And it matches up to two different holes here in the carriage. So it fits down in there nicely, and I'm going to take the extruder mounting screws bag, which has the little fan blower in it. I'm going to set that aside for now. There's three screws in here, one short one and two long ones. The two longer ones are for the extruder head, the one shorter one is for the side blower fan uh, housing that we'll, we'll mount in just a second. So I'm going to take the largest of the Allen keys and maybe move the table down a little bit more. And I'm going to take the first screw and align it with the hole in the carriage from the bottom. And then I can easily align it to the threaded hole in the metal block on the bottom of the extruder assembly. Okay, don't tighten it all the way. Just snug. And then we're going to get it on the other side here. Might be a little tricky to find the spot, but it's right here. Maybe get a flashlight. You'll know it's aligned up because the threads should go in nice and smooth. Snug it down. Don't over tighten it. Now I go back and tighten your other one. And that's good. That's all you need to do there. Now what I'm going to do is push it over to the side. And I'm actually going to, on the side of the extruder assembly, you see there's the fan and there's two screws holding it in place. I'm going to loosen these screws. It's a long one. And down here, there's another long one here. Good. Then, what I can do is take this extension for the blower housing and then I'm going to just plug it right into that socket there and put it right back where it was. Now there's there's a little, this spot here is for the screw and this little smaller hole is for this boss, there's a little uh, index so that way you make sure that you line it up to the very right correct spot. There. Now I'm going to 
take the larger screw back into the top. The shorter screw that was that's in the extruder fan bag, that's going to go down here next to the little index. So this one might be a little tricky to find here, but you can see it's right on the very side. Just snug, don't over tighten it. Check, check the others, and that's good. Yep, there's no play, very good. Now, what we can do is we can put the guide tubes for the filament on the back. I'm going to flip the printer around here to the back side. You have the two tubes. What you want to do is here's the stop, push it into the, where the stop is, and just click them into place. Actually, maybe now would be a good time, since you're still seeing the back. This is where you would put the spool holders. It's recommended that if you're using ABS material, that you use the right extruder. If you're using PLA, it's recommended to use the left side. So I'm going to take care of um, the spool of ABS on the right side while we're still at the back of the printer. Take and place it on the printer this way, where the filament comes up through the center. You do not want to put it on this way where the filament comes in from the side. So again, from the center. Pop your spool on until it clicks and doesn't come off. And then what I like to do is from the very beginning of the spool, cut this part off so it's nice and straight. So feed it through the guide tube. bring it up to where you can see it pop out the other end of the tube. There it is. Great. You could load both, but we're only showing you one in the demonstration. So I'm going to spin it back around. And then now, maybe bring it back a little bit. I'm going to show you how to load the material in on this one we can just go ahead and pop the tube into the receiver. And I'm going to peel this off now. We're just about done with that stage. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it on and do the setup. As far as unboxing it, that's pretty much it. <laughs>